June 19, 2020. It's a hot one today. Uh, getting my sprayer hooked up. I brush hogged uh, a client's property yesterday. I'll show you before I get started. And today, spraying Roundup. We want to get started earlier this year planting our um, <clears throat> food plots for hunting season. Want to get a little head start on everything. Uh, hopefully be planting by mid-July or they even want it sooner but um, I want to make sure the weather is not like this and you know you never know what it's going to do you spray commercially I'm getting paid to do this guy's food plot so um, I'm getting paid for it and so I have to hold a license, spray license, through the Department of Agriculture. There is my personal license. And then the business also has to hold a license as well. So Complete Deer Management, LLC, has a license under me. Um, the license is good for three years. This one expires in 2022. And the business license, though, you have to renew that every year. It costs 100 bucks every year, and um, you have to have it renewed by the end of the year, or else you could get a fine and, and all that stuff. Same similar to commercial lawn care companies, landscape companies, True Green. I'm sure you've heard of that. They all have to hold these licenses, and the business also does as well. And commercial farming, same thing. There's different categories. Um, that you're licensed under, whether it be turf grass or farm fields or forestry or uh, fumigation, mosquitoes, they're all under different regulations. So, um, you can look it up online, a company. So if you go to michigan.gov, pesticide, uh, commercial pesticide applicator, Michigan, Michigan Department of Ag and Rural Develop, uh, commercial pesticide applicators or businesses that do it, you'll see an updated ver uh, list of all the businesses in the entire state by county uh, that have uh, an active license. Um, so, and it's pretty accurate, I think, uh, and, and up to date. This year might not be because of the COVID and um, I was going to add a category, and the test guy had to get pushed back. So, so keep that in mind. Here, this is my uh, setup, my spray setup. This is a 60-gallon tank with a 10-foot boom. Uh, I also put in these dials here. I can turn it off and just spray the middle for like a trail or, or something like that. I have a roller pump PTO um, pressure gauge. I just turn it on and then um, it sprays and then turn the PTO on and off as I spray. Now I am also set up, I do about 20 gallons of water per acre. Uh, because of ground speed and how rough the terrain may be, that's how I do it. Um, so 60 gallons should get me about 3 acres. Today I'm again spraying glyphosate. So I'm going to use two ounces of glyphosate per gallon of water. So I'll have 120 ounces of glyphosate. And then I will also put in some spray grade ammonium sulfate as an extra little zing to it, if you will. A complete burn down on this. Uh, it's got a lot of grasses, small grasses, hard to get. Um, and I really want to burn it down so I can... Um, Collie mulch the field, turn the field, and then replant for the fall. So that is my setup and uh, works for me. I think everybody is different. Uh, all sprayers are different. All tractors could be different. And so I like this setup and yeah, it's affordable. There's always something wrong with this sprayer though, always. Um, you know, it gets bouncing around and the springs fly off or the bungee cords fly off. Roller pump problems, connection problems. This has been all replaced. This uh, regulator 
that's been all replaced. Second roller pump, uh, second or third. Um, all these nozzles here. I mean, you almost have to take along with you a complete rebuild kit of the whole thing. But uh, but that's part of it. That's part of it. So here we go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, God bless y'all. Peace, love. Get outdoors. Buy a license. Encourage everyone to do that. The license money goes to helping the wildlife and everything we love to enjoy outdoors. Peace.